Hello, and welcome to DRQ. The Sears Tower in Chicago, Illinois is over 400 meters tall. And this is a Lego brick. So how many of these would we need to build a full-size model of the Sears Tower? This is a one meter high model of the Sears Tower that I built. It contains over 2,000 Lego bricks. Hardly a full-size model, so we'll have to think bigger. So if this is the size of a 2x4 Lego brick, how many would we need to build a full-size replica of the Sears Tower? Hmm. Kids, how many Legos do you have? We need to know the exact dimensions of the Sears Tower so we can figure how many Lego bricks we need. The Sears Tower consists of nine tubes of various heights in a 3x3 arrangement. Each tube is 23 meters by 23 meters at its base, and there are 9 tubes total. So each tube would be 723 Lego bricks long and 722 bricks wide. At first I calculated a hollow model, which would be 2,890 bricks per level for one tube, but then I figured that a hollow structure of only one Lego thick would probably collapse on itself. So I calculated again for a solid structure, which came to over 1 million bricks per level for one tube. Now we just need to calculate how many levels of Legos high each tube would be. Looks like the shortest two tubes would be over 20,000 bricks high, the next two highest over 27,000, the next three over 37,000, and the tallest two tubes would be over 46,000 bricks high. To get our final answer, we just need to calculate how many Legos are in each tube and add them all together. Drum roll, please! Thank you for using a snare drum this time. The number of 2x4 Lego bricks required to build a solid, full-size model of this year's tower would be... Over 316 billion. Over 560 billion Lego parts have been manufactured since the company began, so you might be able to find enough bricks out there. Individual bricks currently cost 30 cents each on the LEGO store's website, so the cost of building such a model would be over 94 billion dollars. Not including shipping. Hopefully they'll give you a bulk discount and free shipping on that. The Sears Tower itself cost more than 175 million dollars to build back in 1973, compensating for inflation that would cost over 935 million dollars today which would still be a lot cheaper than building it out of Legos, so looks like building buildings out of Legos would not be very cost effective. Thank you for watching. Music was provided by Albedo. Click on the link on your right or in the description to hear more, and please click on the big red subscribe button to subscribe to my channel, and let me know in the comments what random question you would like me to do next.